Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. It's nearly Easter, isn't it? I bet you're having a lovely holiday and looking forward to eating lots of chocolate. I know I am. Easter is one of the most important festivals for the Christian church. And so we're going to put some videos on YouTube to help to explain why. Today is Palm Sunday and I've got a special friend here who was at the very first Palm Sunday. And if I wake him up, I think he'll tell me all about it. Donny! Donny! Hey, Donny! How are you? Are you a bit tired? I heard you gave a ride to someone famous today. How was that? That's what everybody wanted to know when I got back at the farm. The chickens clucked the question, the oxen looed it, the sheep bad it, and I just stood there wondering what all the fuss was about. So what happened? Well, it was a bit strange. Someone came this morning. He just untied me as if he had a right to. So I did the donkey thing. I didn't budge. He tried pulling. He thwacked me on the back, but I wasn't having any. I'd only just eaten my lunch and all I wanted was a sleep. But he kept pulling. So I eat. I knew that would bring the boss running and it did. What did the boss say? <laughs> he was a bit annoyed. Oi! he shouted in best boss language. That's my donkey. And he stood there with his hands on his hips looking menacing. I'm not surprised he was so annoyed. So, what happened next? The man who had untied me hung on. The master needs it, he said. That seemed to shut the boss up. The master needs it, he said to himself. That was the signal. He paused. Then, all right, yes, take him. But make sure he gets back to me. So, did you just trot along with him? No, I did not. The man tugged again, but I didn't budge. Why should I? I only budge for the boss, and then only when I feel like it. The man began to look cross and then worried. The boss was halfway back into the house when he looked round and saw what was going on. He sighed and shrugged his shoulders. Oh, I suppose I'd better bring him for you, he said, and led me off. So once the boss was leading you, you, you were happy to go along with him? No, first I was, but then when we were near the top of the hill, I began to hear the noise. First it was just hubbub, but then as we got closer, I could begin to make out individual voices shouting, Save us! Rescue us! Others were shouting a name, Jesus! I bet that was a bit frightening. Yes, it was. If there's one thing a donkey likes, it's peace and quiet. And if there's one thing a donkey hates, it's fuss and bother. So I stopped. The boss pulled, but I flared my nostrils, and he knew better than to argue with me when I was angry. He's had a good few kicks off me over the years. So were your heels twitching to give him one? They were. But then this man walked over. The boss spoke to him. He looked really apologetic. I could just hear, I'm sorry, Jesus. I know I promised. I brought him, but donkeys are a law unto themselves. The man just smiled. I've loaded a few with wood in my time. I know what you're up against, he said. And with that, he put his hand in his pocket and produced a pear. Now, how did he know that I'll do anything for a pair? I bet that calmed you down. Yes. First he let me have a sniff, and then he cut me a slice. He began stroking my forehead and tickling my ears. Finally, he blew gently into my nostrils. Warm breath. Kind. 
And then I realised, while well, all that was going on, I'd completely forgotten the noise of the crowd. I just felt so calm. So when someone threw a cloak over my back and then another to make him a sort of a saddle, I didn't flinch. Nor when he climbed on my back either. I just felt as though I'd go anywhere for him. So where did you go? We set off along the track. It leads down into the big city, Jerusalem. All the way people were shouting, save us, rescue us. I just kept walking, though it wasn't easy with people throwing branches from the palm trees in front of us. I had to watch my step. But then, you see, I'd begun to feel a bit responsible, like I was carrying a king. And I didn't want the embarrassment of tipping him off if I tripped. Well, that's what I told him back at the farm. It was like carrying a king. Of course, when I said that, they all just clucked and lowed and barred. But something was happening, and I was part of it. Part of history. That's what I kept hearing the boss say to his wife, making out as if he had done all the hard work. But Fair's Fair, he didn't forget when I got back. That's for my fair, the man had said giving the boss another pair and looking at me with a kindly smile. Long, long after all this fuss has died down, I know I'll remember that pair. Well, that sounds like the most amazing day, Donny. Thank you very much for sharing it with us. Really enjoyed hearing all about it. Well, I found a song on YouTube that tells the Palm Sunday story. Yes, I did, Donny. Do you think you'd like to hear it? You would? Good. Well, shall we do that? Here comes Jesus riding into town. Oaks and branches throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Blessed is he who comes our way. He brings a new and brighter day. The poor are saved, the blind can see. The captive souls are dancing free. Yeah, here comes Jesus, riding into town. Cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing, sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. King of heaven, King on earth, listen to his saving word. Peace and justice, walk with him, let's raise the gates and let him in. Yeah, here comes Jesus, riding into town. Cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing. Sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Our lives will never be the same. Praise and bless His holy name. And if we cannot sing it out, the rocks themselves will start to shout. Yeah, here comes Jesus. Riding into town, cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing, sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. Here comes Jesus, riding into town, cloaks and branches, throw them to the ground. Praise and glory, everybody sing, sing Hosanna, Hosanna to the King. I really enjoyed that. Did you, Donny? Oh, I am glad, and I hope you did too. We're going to say some prayers now. Donny, could you help me light the candle? You could. Okay, do you want to pass me it? Oh! Oh dear, Donny. 
do you need a bit of a hand? You do? Okay, that's fine then. Lord Jesus, on Palm Sunday you were welcomed by the crowds with cheering and enthusiasm. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, we, we welcome, welcome you. Today, help us to welcome you into our hearts with joy and a willingness to share our lives with you. Lord Jesus, we welcome you into our hearts today. I've really enjoyed that. Have you, Donny? You have? I'm so pleased and I hope you all have too. We're going to put the next video on YouTube on Friday, which will tell the next part of the story. I hope you'll come and join us for that too. It would be lovely to see you. Until then, it's bye from me. Bye for now. Bye.